Ashfall, written by Mike Mullen, delves into a hypothetical scenario where a young boy's world is appended by the catastrophic eruption of the supervolcano beneath Yellowstone National Park. Seamlessly blending scientific disciplines such as volcanology, engineering, physics, biology, and climate change with the gripping narrative elements of suspense, apocalyptic devastation, and the struggle to find home, the novel offers a meticulously researched and realistic account of how an ordinary life can be profoundly affected by an extraordinary natural disaster. The story unfolds with 15-year-old Alex, a high schooler who prefers the company of video games over socializing, engaged in a dispute with his parents. He resents their decision to visit his uncle's farm in Illinois and staunchly refuses to accompany them. After a heated exchange, they reluctantly agree to leave him behind for the weekend, embarking on the 140-mile journey to the farm. Providing subtle foreshadowing, the narrator sets the environmental context, revealing that Alex's hometown of Cedar Falls, Iowa, lies in close proximity to Yellowstone National Park, a site harboring a dormant supervolcano that has erupted only a handful of times over the span of two. One million years. Oblivious to the looming threat, tourists flock to the park, relishing the beauty of its hot springs and majestic geysers. Initially relishing the prospect of a weekend free from parental constraints, Alex swiftly regrets his decision as the power abruptly goes out. The supervolcano has erupted, causing a catastrophic disruption to the power grid. Traversing through an ash-covered terrain, with layers measuring over a foot in depth, Alex witnesses the desperation of people scrambling to secure food, water, and shelter to shield themselves from the toxic fallout. Determined to seek refuge and reunite with his family, Alex embarks on a journey to the nearby town of Warren, utilizing his father's skis to navigate the treacherous ash drifts. In Warren, he discovers a school teeming with refugees seeking safety. Spending a night there, Alex continues his quest, searching for more secure shelter and making progress towards reaching his family. However, as the arduous journey progresses, he soon finds himself running perilously low on water, his survival hanging in the balance. In his desperate state, Alex stumbles upon the home of Elroy and Edna, a couple reluctant to share their dwindling supplies. Despite their initial reluctance, they offer him temporary shelter. However, the following morning, Elroy abruptly forces Alex to leave. Determined to survive, Alex returns to town where he encounters a man named Target. Sensing an opportunity, Target enlists Alex's help in assembling a team, but his true malicious intentions soon become apparent. A violent confrontation ensues, resulting in Alex being impaled by an axe. In a stroke of luck, Alex manages to throw Target into a fire, fleeing as he becomes engulfed in flames, his wounds bleeding profusely. Using every ounce of strength, Alex skis towards the nearest farmstead. There, he encounters Darla, who is using a stationary bike to generate electricity. Overwhelmed by blood loss, Alex loses consciousness. When he awakens, he finds himself in a bed, his wounds expertly tended to by Darla's mother. Grateful for their kindness, they offer Alex a place to stay and work on their farm. In the following weeks, Alex finds solace and stability in his newfound life, forming a strong bond with Darla's family. However, their tranquility is short-lived when Darla notices her rabbits falling ill. Determined to seek help, they embark on a journey to Worthington in search of a veterinarian. To their dismay, they discover that the veterinarian has perished. Rita May, a woman they encounter, shares a disheartening truth, that a similar eruption millions of years ago in Idaho led to the gradual extinction of ash-exposed animals. She also reveals the government's neglect in providing aid to the refugees in Iowa, with their focus primarily directed towards the state of Illinois. Returning home, Alex and Darla stumble upon a harrowing scene, a man assaulting Darla's mother. In a desperate act of self-defense, Alex kills the attacker, only to be confronted once again by Target, who miraculously survived the fire. Target shoots and kills Darla's mother before escaping on foot. Alex and Darla seek refuge in a barn, but their respite is short-lived as Target discovers their hiding place and sets it ablaze. In a cruel twist of fate, Target meets his demise. With no time to mourn, Alex and Darla resolve to continue their journey, braving a blizzard as they seek shelter in an abandoned house, armed with a gun. The challenges they face seem insurmountable, but their determination to find Alex's family remains unwavering.
In the ensuing days, Alex and Darla find themselves in a series of challenging situations that test their resilience. However, amidst the struggles, they begin to shift their perspective, realizing that each triumph reaffirms their determination to survive. They encounter a woman whose baby is on the verge of death and offer their assistance, but unfortunately, their efforts are in vain. Together, they help the grieving mother bury her child, a solemn act that deepens their understanding of loss and the fragility of life. As they continue their journey, Alex and Darla come across abandoned livestock and learn to hunt and kill animals for sustenance. These newfound skills provide them with a source of food in their arduous trek. On their way back to Warren, they are forcibly detained in a refugee camp controlled by quasi-soldiers who exploit them for labor. The dire situation worsens when one of the soldiers attempts to subject Darla to prostitution. In a defiant act of self-defense, Alex breaks the soldier's nose, resulting in his imprisonment. However, Darla orchestrates a daring escape by commandeering a bulldozer, freeing Alex from captivity. Returning to Illinois, they discover that Alex's parents have already embarked on a journey back to Iowa in search of their son. Despite missing the opportunity for an immediate reunion, Alex is overjoyed to be reunited with his sister. The novel concludes with Darla taking a leadership role in Warren, spearheading the implementation of a new and equitable economic system. This system ensures that resources are exchanged at fair rates, guaranteeing that everyone in the community has access to the necessities they require. No longer living as nomads, Alex and Darla emerge from the environmental catastrophe, humbled by the precariousness of life, but empowered to forge ahead and build a new society founded on ethics and resilience. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.